Aloha kako. Aloha. First of all, I want to say thank you to all of you who are here tonight. I want to thank uh, FCE for putting this on. I, I was here also in 2010, and there's a couple of reasons why I'm here. First and foremost, for those of you who don't know, let me just give you a little bit about my background. I am the grandson of William Iona and Kozi Cardoza. We just had our, our Cardoza reunion uh, about two weeks ago down in Honoka'a. So I'm the father of James R. Iona, Jr. Iona Sr. I am James R. Iona Jr. So my nickname is Duke. That's another story which will take about five minutes so I won't, I won't spend my time on that. But one of, uh, one of ten children to uh, William and Cozy. So this is home for me in, in many ways and that's why I'm here tonight. I want to share with you in the allotted time that I have the reason why I'm running. I firmly believe that uh, this election, the governor's race, is a referendum on leadership. If I were to ask, I think all of you in this room, do you trust your elected public officials? I think the majority of you would say no. I don't trust our elected public officials, especially the executive office. And the reason for that is very simple. Respect. You get no respect. They don't listen to you. They give you false promises, empty promises, false hope. And as such, what do you get? You get bad legislation. You get poor policy. You have a government that's not in balance. Now, I want you to understand what my background is in my professional life. 13 years of my professional life, I served as a state judge here in the state of Hawaii. First as a family court judge at the very young age of 35, then as a circuit court judge. I think I understand what trust and respect is all about. Because if I did not give respect to the litigants that came before me, they would not have trust in the judicial system. So I understood what it meant to put aside my preconceived ideas, my emotion, my prejudices, and just give the people who came in front of me, the litigants, and as well as the attorneys and the jurors, what they wanted. And that was a fair trial. And I believe I've done that. So based on that, I understand what it means to serve in the executive branch. I've been blessed with the opportunity of serving just one, just in one office. And that is the lieutenant governor's office, a very unique office in which you serve in a supporting role. And so I learned, basically, here's the mantra in the, in the lieutenant governor's office. You are one heartbeat away from the governor. In other words, if anything happens to the governor, you step in. And I was blessed to have the opportunity to be prepared for that office, and as such, I felt ready and prepared to serve. So please uh, go to my website, www.dukeiona.com, if you want to learn more about what our platforms are, and who, who I am, and what we stand for. And here on the neighbor islands, uh, Pat Iona and uh, Daryl Smith are, help, are assisting in coordinating my campaign. Contact them if you have any, any other uh, questions or if you want to get involved in our campaign. God bless you all. Ahui ho.